uh, it's been a real emotional two weeks for us. You know, ever since those conference games that we started out and then playing down at UB, going on a road, play a real tough St. Francis team, and uh, then playing Holy Cross and coming out with a victory with Dan and then coming to this. And I, I thought these guys were going to be real feisty, and they were. So, uh, you know, it's a good win for us. Uh, we still got to do a better job of rebounding the basketball. I thought we got uh, balance from a lot of guys that stepped up. And we're going to need to do that with this basketball team. We're going to have to have balance beside, you know, the same guys every time uh, stepping up to the plate. So um, this was a good win for us. And, uh, you know, I thought we did much better on defending, getting the ball inside when we needed to get. We took 26 foul shots. Um, and we had 20 assists. We shared the basketball. So, uh, you know, now we got to get some time to get recharged and then get, get ready to play ND, Notre Dame out there, and then we go right into league play. Yeah, keep working on it. <laughs> There's no secret weapon. Yeah, work on it. You got to be more conscious, and you got to get more focused with rebounding the basketball. So we're going to have to do that. That's going to be the challenge. I told him that was first thing I said after the game. I'm not, you know, I was. I mean, I'm happy for the win, but I'm disappointed for, for, for a situation like that because it's going to, it's going to, it's going to haunt us if we don't take care of it. It's both. It's everything. Positioning, concentration. You know, I thought we did a good job of Holy Cross. We, we, we out-rebounded Holy Cross. And I thought that was one of the big uh, determining factors of the game. And we're going to have to do that. Yeah. We pushed it. We pushed it. We attacked. We pushed it. We shared the basketball. We got it down the court. Uh, made the extra pass. And uh, I thought at times we went to the offensive glass, got set, got putbacks. So we got to do that. We got to keep running. We got to push it. We got to attack. Yeah. Go back to rebounding. You mentioned that the majority of the loss was uh, six and six and strength was strong and slow rebounding. What, what, do you, what do you make of a game like that? No, well, we got it. We got it. Guys got to be more aggressive inside, you know? I mean, it seems like Billy comes out the second leading rebound in most of these games. We can't have our point guard be our, our second leading rebounder, third leading rebounder. You know, we got to get our bigs in there and be more, uh, more, more aggressive and more physical with being around the bucket, whether it's rebounding on the defensive end or going to the glass on the offensive end. That's going to be important for us. He's 6'10", you know, and our, we got, you know, you know, Valenti, you know, he's got to, you know, keep being active, being a live body, you know, but he gets six rebounds tonight. I mean, he only played 14 minutes to get six rebounds. So, you know, you gotta, we got to keep being active. But we're going to need everybody to step up. The first couple games you guys were showing a little bit of defense and really pressing and then yeah. things got a little bit more aggressive. Was it because Jordan got tired? Or yeah. It's a little bit of a combination of both. Yeah. Got a lot of young kids. We got 10 new guys. We're still building, we're still working, you know? So just keep. Selling the student pie, I was surprised we, I mean, we didn't have any students. I mean, we got to get the word out. This is their team. This is their school. You know, we got to keep getting the word out. Did you feel like in the, in the second half where you, your defensive rotation, more or less, not towards the end, but in the, in the beginning stages of the first, the second half, you were able to extend that lead? Yeah. Where those rotations were much sharper, crisper. Did you, did you miss that at all? Rotation for what? The, the bench? No, no, no. Yeah. They weren't getting a lot of clean looks. Yeah, they weren't getting clean looks, but they started to drive it. And we got to do, we got to keep working on keeping guys in front. You know, that's what happens against the zone. They start driving it. You got to get it tighter and sharper, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, Lamar's a good team. They're very athletic, very, you know, it's a tough team, tough team to play against, you know. I mean, they had the game the other night, won against LIU. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a good win for us, especially at home. Uh, the intensity, getting on the ball, getting on the floor for loose balls. Uh, you know, our defense wasn't really there for uh, much of that first half. Uh, but I think we started to really buckle down. Chris did a great job getting rebounds, and so did Jordan. Um, you know, despite them being a little banged up, 
those guys really banged down low, and the, you know they set the tone for us to make that little run towards the end. Zach Lewis was huge towards the end of the first half. You know he had a few steals, and he was really a pest in that zone. Um, so you know once we stepped up the intensity a little bit, we were we were able to make that little run the second in the first half, uh, which kind of carried over. Yeah, that was a point of emphasis throughout the week leading to this game. Um, we were obviously bigger than them, so we, we were trying to utilize our, our size and, you know, our post presence. Yeah, with no Damian and Patrick Peck, did you count this as a clean this quarter? Yeah, um, it was good to take care of business. You know, Lamar, they have a lot of athletes, and, um, you know, they, uh, they were able to hit some very tough shots from the perimeter, and, you know, I think they caught us sleeping a lot. Um, but you know, regardless of who we're playing, Notre Dame, Lamar, we got to have that same intensity. Um, but it was a, a good little tune-up for us, you know, to go to South Bend and try and grab that one. You know, now we're gonna have a little break as we go home, rest ourselves. But uh, you know, having this win in the back of our minds is is good to carry over. It's good for uh, you know our confidence. It's great to see you match your season highs of rebounds today. Um, just how do you feel your ankle is progressing? What's your game is progressing? Uh, my ankle is fine. Um, you know, I just got to get into a little bit more rhythm, but I'm good. Trey had a good night. Uh, good night. <coughs> It's all part of the game. Still, still getting comfortable. So, uh, I mean, I, that'll come. I'm, uh, I'm gonna keep continuing working hard every day in practice, and I'm sure, I'm sure it'll come. So. You mentioned that hand surgery. You confident that the rebound will be able to get there eventually? You're not worried about that? Uh, not to say that we're not worried. We obviously <coughs> need to do a better job as bigs and uh, as guards as well to rebound the ball. So we'll get better.